hi everybody. Um, applications are open for Student Alliance. And um, so I just, we wanted to get together and talk a little bit about what it's been like to be on Student Alliance this year and um, encourage people to understand more about what it's like and then um, encourage people to apply. So um, how about Rala, why don't you jump in and right off the top, just talk a little bit about what Student Alliance has been like for you this year. Um, Student Alliance for me, it was a big opportunity. It helped me like grow as an individual, being more outspoken and gaining more leadership skills that I um, needed to get for college and the real world. That's awesome. Anaya, how about you? Um, Student Alliance this year has definitely been, because this is my um, third semester with Student Alliance and it's been super different and um, because of like online learning and stuff, but definitely very um, impactful to my life and how I view um, the lives of students. Um, definitely gave me a way to kind of look more inside of what's really going on on campus and how much impact we actually have as a, um, a student alliance. And overall, I guess I'm just very thankful for the things that I've absorbed in this position. Um, I've gotten to talk to many, 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 many people and help with many projects. And I'm overall just really thankful for everything that I've gained as a student and as an individual and as a leader and you know so on. So thankful, thankful. Brendan, what, did, what has Student Alliance been like for you? This is my first year and was my first year in Student Alliance. I learned how to be a better leader and how to like impact the community of GRCC and just become like a better person like with my role as a communications director. I expanded my communication skills from what I had and expanded them to new horizons like practicing those skills like in a real environment and meeting new people and connecting with others and practicing my skills and was I was it was beneficial to help other students and staff with what they need and everything and it just Overall, it was a really good experience. Awesome, thank you. And how about Neo? What has it been like for you? Um, I can say with Student Alliance, I've been with them for four semesters now. Uh, so just a switch from last year to this year has been very uh, different. And instead of, you know, just being with more events and, you know, talking to like larger groups of people and you know, being in everyone's face we've been you know very internal and working with faculty a lot more and you know just working more one-on-one -on -one and building a lot more individual rapports with people and so I can say that this year if there's one word like I can use to describe my year with Student Alliance this year has been uh, introspection and just you know learning a lot more about myself and how you know I operate with people and because I feel like you know just working with bigger groups of people is um which is like, you know, it just came like easier to me because, you know, I can like talk at people instead of talking with people. And now just building these relationships with people one on one just made me, you know, reflect a lot on how I interact with people one on one. So I think that's been like the most important thing I've grabbed this year from Student Alliance. That's awesome. Thanks, everybody. Um, why don't each of you talk a little bit about um, the position that you're in and what the responsibilities are for that job maybe starting with Anaya I was just about to unmute um so my position this year has been the presidential position um and this position is um kind of like it has a lot of housekeeping and a lot of time loose ends um I am the like one of the Brendan is a communication director but I receive a lot of emails because um I mean, you, you know, um, oh my gosh. Um, so it's kind of intimidating at first about how many emails you get regarding things that you literally know nothing about. And it's a lot of connecting. So as much as you don't know about, you know, who, where do you get extra chairs for the music room? You know, things like that. Um, you can always find somebody to find somebody to find somebody. So there's always connections you can make. Um, and that can be intimidating, but once you get a better hang of it, it's kind of fun. It's kind of like a game. 
Um, and also um, you need to be attending the uh, um, board of trustees meetings and the strategic leadership team meetings um, um, every, every week for the SLT meetings and um, every few months as an update for the board of trustees meetings. Um, and aside from that, um, obtaining um, proper leadership skills and um, fulfilling your office hours. Um, what else? I think I'm missing things. But other than that, it's kind of like making sure your team is functioning to the best of their ability, to the best of your ability. Because I mean, there's only making sure you're um, doing your part also and helping everyone do their part, um, which is the funnest part because it's kind of like figuring out who can handle what and how you can help them um, manage it and also accepting help from the rest of your teammates and letting them help you manage things. Oh, so, so long story short, it's just kind of about being a team player, like the seriously, like being able and willing to be um, kind of the bottom, you know, so yeah. Awesome, thanks Anaya. Uh, Rala, talk to us a little bit about your, your role. Okay, so I am the external affairs director and basically um, I kind of have like a research role and basically like a goal that Student Alliance has or a goal um, another club has that they're um, looking more into and need probably a little bit more guidance. That's where I step in and um, kind of help guide them to where they want to be. And you have to always, you know, be at the meetings, um, engaging with all the students that that are there. Um, what else is on the list? You have to attend, I think it's some SLT meetings. Um, other than that, Anaya takes over because she's the president and kind of just help like where help is needed with communications. Um, it could be with the operations or even Anaya. Awesome. Neo, um, let's hear about your role. Okay, so my role is the operations director. And so when you're with the operations director, it's basically like treasurer. And so you're handling the money pretty much. And so when you first start out, um, you meet with Lana at the first of the year and we go over the budget and we just, you know, put numbers in places and crunch them. And then we uh, present it to the team. And after we present it to the team, then we all, you know, come to a final vote on it, close that. And so you use, you're going to um, also meet with Sheena in the office uh, weekly, just so we can like keep updates on the budget. And, you know, we're also showing the budget at the town hall meetings to make sure the students know also we're replacing our money as well. And um, I think another task is like, uh, like a small task is like, you know, ordering food for the meetings. Uh, we haven't been doing that because obviously our meetings have been virtual this year, uh, you know, but things of that nature. And so, I mean, besides that, you're still, you know, keeping up with the team, still presenting new ideas, still being involved and still, you know, put being a, uh, putting in a team effort. But those are our essential functions as an operation director. Sounds good. And the other thing that I would just add is um, helping student organizations write extra allocation requests um, and then kind of keeping an eye on that and walking that through the process so that um, ultimately, everybody's in the loop about um, where money is being allocated to and who gets it and who's spending it and all the things, right? Um, how about Brendan? Let's hear about your role. So like I said before, I'm the communication director, so I'm pretty much the bridge of contact between people that send us emails. I connect it to my team, connect it from my team to other people. So from that being said, like for an instance, if like someone has like somebody they want to talk to the group about and they don't always email on Niles and then they'll just email me because like oh you're the communications director here's I just saw so I'm emailing you I'll forward the email to like usually Lana or Anaya or, or the president whoever the president is of the year and contact and make communicating with the team with anything that comes in or communicating from the team to those people so like earlier in the year like around Christmas break time we had a video with I think Dean Vargo and he so I was connecting with him, connecting with our guys, then pushing it back to him, back and forth. But on top of that, um, I also make the agendas for the meetings and make presentations. So that's like a big role. And like I also take notes about like things. So I mean, there's an extra allocation request. 
we take notes and everything so we have it on file and everything so yeah that's basically what i do and i'd like to add something really quick all of the roles are like you can be super creative with all of them like it's not as much as you have your specific tasks and things that need to be done like we did lots of fun things this year, like projects and, you know, um, aware, raising awareness and stuff like that. So it's not limited to, but it's super like expansive. Like you can pretty much do whatever the students desire and whatever the group thinks is important. So. Awesome. Thanks everybody. Ashley, did you want to share a little bit about um, the support that you and I as advisors can kind of provide? So as a co-advisor to Student Alliance, um, really just ready for anything, kind of like what Anaya was saying, um, we're all team players. So even Lina and I as co-advisors, we just look to the team for ways to support or generate new ideas, linking you to resources on or off campus, and really just make a fun time. So even though COVID kind of restricted us in terms of in-person meetings or programming. I think we were able to uh, give a nice spin to the online presence anyways, and just be here for you. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna echo it. This is what you make it and it can be a lot of fun. That's awesome. So a little bit about applications. Applications are open for the next couple of weeks and um, that can be found um, you know, on this Facebook post or um, Instagram posts, other social media venues, but also on Raider Connect. If you go to grcc.edu slash involvement and then um, click on Student Alliance when you get there, um, under forms, there's a leadership application that describes the positions and describes what we're looking for um, from our candidates. So um, please consider applying and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody.